So real talk, I am very excited to be making this video today because we're going to be talking about the rule of thirds. This is specifically something that I wanted to talk about after I did the uh, five five minute critiques that you guys were so nice and signed up for because I saw a lot of people really being guided by the limitations of their camera instead of the ideas of how to put images that work together. That it's, it's based on science. <laughs> like you can't fight science, bro. But also it's, it's not meant to be a rule. Like it's not a thing that a person made up. It's, it's based on what is aesthetically pleasing based on the balance that we see in nature. Like it's not our fault that we naturally are gravitating towards this. don't always think it's used correctly and I, I even have some examples where like I did it poorly from early in my career that I, I pulled off my blog so that we can go through and crit my like year one work. I do think that the rule is really important because it can be important for showing you how to break it in a way that still works. So I'm going to show you some examples where I have broken the rule of thirds but why I still think it works. So I really think that it's nice to talk about concepts like the rule of thirds from an academic standpoint so that you know that like there is a mathematical reason that some people's images have more harmony and balance in them and that it's something that you can very easily get to. I really hope you liked this video. It was a fun one for me to put together and I look forward to talking about more stuff like this with you soon. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye! You can't fight science, bro.